I think great respect and communication is what is the key to Mm co-parenting just to respect and constant and not think, Oh, we had that one conversation that was good. And therefore that, that now we're good for the rest of our lives. It's a, it's an evolution. You know, what would you say is the biggest parenting challenge for you right now or the, or that you've ever experienced? I mean, look, the, the biggest challenge for me is <sighs> slowing down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause I think that we falter and we move too quickly everything in our society and culture even is kind of at a pace and parenting always succeeds more when you slow the f- down because if you're negotiating a something or if you're participatory in listening to them you know i mean it goes with every relationship but honestly slowing down i move at a high rpm okay i rev high And so my practice is to slow down. Mm -hmm. And when we slow down, we become more aware and we're available to really listen and and like really digest and then to react accordingly, you know, because that's that's the big challenge, right? Like you just your kids are just desperate to be seen and heard as we all are. Um, But, but you can't do that if you're moving real fast and you're trying to get too many things done. So I think for me, because I'm a natural multitasker, I like to do a lot of stuff at once and somewhat successful at it. So the problem is, you know, you got to slow down if, if a little, if you're, if your little people are asking you something. No, I think you're so right. I mean, it, you know, when you slow down, you're more present. And I think that goes for everybody. And I know, like, I, I hate asking this question, but is it hard to balance it all? You know, it's like you're getting pulled in so many different directions between work, being a mom and, you know, everything else that you have going on. Do you find that struggle? And do you, do you still have that mom guilt? I don't, I think that you, how old are your kids? They are a three and 14 months. Yeah, exactly. They're like super young. So I think like that mom guilt kind of goes away at least, you know, eventually, if, you know, if, if, if your primary job, which I think it's a very honest and, and noble goddamn job, if you are a mother and that is your sole job, I'm like, that's the hardest job in the world. So I respect it. I do have, you know, an infrastructure, which I'm very grateful for that our caregivers, my ex-husband and I are really tight. We're good friends. Like, we, we work together. It's like, a, you know, the, there's a business that's being run, you know? And so in order to make sure that the children feel like they know what the week is going to be, you know, what the schedule is, they don't feel like they're being upended. That's really the job. And um, balancing it is really about realizing you just can't be in all places at all times, right? So you you build an infrastructure that a lot allows for you to be in one place wholly at once. And then, then I don't, I, I, I have to say, I don't feel mom guilt anymore because I see that they're thriving. And I, I think there is this respect for this is your life, (laughs) right? So you're, you're showing them, you live it to the fullest. You you write the stories you want to create. You you know direct things. You you helm projects on your own. You engage um, with the world and with culture. And that is that is a necessity for me to be a happy person and therefore to be a happy mama. Definitely. Would you say that that's kind of like your key to co-parenting as well, and why it's so successful? I think great respect and communication is what is the key to co-parenting. Mm-hmm. Just to respect and constant and not think oh we had that one conversation that was good and therefore that that now we're good for the rest of our lives it's a it's an evolution you know it's it's a it's a constant Mm -hmm. it's any report you know any rapport but it's like the most important rapport i mean of my life you know so it's like for our children's sake definitely and i'm so excited about this movie it looks so fantastic i mean what was it about it that drew you to this film I mean, there's a multitude of reasons. I think, you know, James Ponsolt and I um, have known each other through the Sundance family um, over the years. I respect him as a filmmaker and I really like the idea of him, you know, now both of us as parents Mm -hmm. kind of taking the independent cinema lens and sort of focusing it on 
a, a children's adventure story in some ways um, that is multi-generational and 90% female based. So um, that part of it was super appealing, obviously. He's, he's, you know, it's like he's made this movie for his daughter, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, maybe he's not a man, I mean, he's not a woman, but he is a good listener, you know? And um, I think that I sort of, I understand the ethos of that. You know, I have a little girl and a son and having a movie like Summering where we both can watch it, all of us can watch it. And when there's scary bits, you know, it's like, it's going to inspire conversation about yeah. fear and anxiety, mm-hmm. right? Um, and coming out of the two and a half years that we just did, it's, it's a, you know, it, it is reflective on multiple levels. Do you, how do you relate to your character, Laura, in this film, if at all? Laura, Laura is, uh, I mean, look, Laura's a single mother, not by choice. Um, I am a single mother, uh, you know, I got a divorce like two and a half years ago, but it, just very different circumstances. But the idea is, you know, I think Laura being a mother who is doing the best she can given the circumstances she's been delivered. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are all trying to do. And for her, you know, it's, 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 it's deposited her into this kind of unsavory way of, you know, relating to her daughter, uh, played by Leah, her daughter's Daisy. And so, you know, it's like, I play a cop who, you know, has, her husband has left her in a very mysterious way. And it has, it has taxed her relationship with her own daughter. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I I think I really enjoy and relish in her honest messiness Mm -hmm. and lack of perfection. And so I, you know, I think even because, even there's only a handful of scenes that I get to chew on in this movie, it's like James and the, you know, the writers really were able to kind of create an arc, a full bodied arc. How would you describe your relationship with your daughter? I mean, first of all, it's so funny, I like immediately smile. Mm -hmm. Um, Mike, I I have a great rapport with my kids. My daughter is feisty and (laughs) love it. (laughs) She, um, she's precocious and Mm -hmm. wonderful and, and you know she she has epilepsy and so she has this special sparkle magic that we have reframed it as like her you know that's part of her uh makeup and the tapestry of who she is and you know she she's just got a a tremendous i'm talking about her but our rapport together is you know it's cheeky it's funny and and it's and it's honest you know we definitely she has a great sense of humor. I mean, it's fun to spar with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's so fun to see like what things come out of their mouths. It really is. Yeah, I've been the kind of gal who will, you know, decide to wear head to toe men's suiting. Okay, like a foot with the tie and the button up and the hair slicked back and a mullet. And then the next day is like, I'm Elsa. You know, it's like, she you just don't know. She's got a real sense of play and character in her daily um, existence. So I love that so much. And what is what about your son? What is he into? So Ozzy, you know, I, I'm like, let's really get into it. <laughs> Ozzy is, um, he's just like Mr. Go with the flow. He's mm-hmm. kind of like, even in his physicality, he's very good at balance. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of who he is. You know, it's like, he does things where he stands on things that you're like, please don't stand on that. Cause that's giving me heart health palpitations. And he's always got it. He sticks the landing, you know, and who he is as a man. I mean, he's he sort of says exactly what he wants. Um, you know, you know, you think like he's not really into, you know, grooming and all that stuff because he's a real dude. Um, but then he'll be like, Mom, cut my hair. I want it like this a little shorter on the side. You know, he's got like a real opinion. Um, but then in this, you know, and he, and he plays drums. He likes to be the like Dean's like drummer guy who's keeping it going. And my daughter likes to be like, I'm up front, you know, <laughs> so they have. <laughs> I 